Can't beat this, guys. Living a life, man. What life's all about, guys. Come out here to rain. A little pucking going on there. Got my little devil dog, Jack. Already slayed a couple zombies. Got their bodies burning in there. And I think it's time to go show you guys something new. How's that? Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, it's Big Daddy Hoffman 1911 coming to you tonight. And Jack and I just got out of the woods chasing some zombies and killing a few. And I got their scouts back here on the range, and I hope it'll keep them away. That's what I'm talking about. But what I got a problem with, I got a big problem. Well, it's not really a big problem. It's I've got midget zombies. And that's right. You heard me right. I know y'all think I'm crazy. Getting near Halloween, and we've got, I've got a problem with midget zombies. Now, them little guys with them big little butts and them little bowed legs, they're wild. I'm telling you, they can jump, and they'll run up and bite you in a hot minute. And uh, me and Jack, he, he, he's got a couple of them for me, and uh, sniffed them out, and this little guy, he is a real killer, I'm telling you. Archie Jack, give your dad some sugar. Give your dad sugar. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, he's a good boy. But anyway, to combat this problem, I've got something to show you tonight you guys are probably going to be interested in. And uh, it should take care of these midget zombies. Anyway, Jack, let's put you down and show them this thing. All right, big boy. Okay, you know, I'm out here on the compound and I'm not gonna be out in the woods or on my Kawasaki there out there without my Glock 10 millimeter. You know I'm a big old Glock 10 millimeter fan. Why not just carry the biggest one you can, you know? But I'm gonna tell you, I got something right here you guys might be interested in. And this right, this little bad boy right here, if you can see it there, is a micro desert eagle. Now you know I got videos out there, guys, showing the, the uh, 50 cal desert eagle. But uh, this is a uh, 380, got hollow points in it, and uh, I think it'd be a good little midget terminator. What do you think? Let's go show you this bad boy. Yeah, Micro Desert Eagle, Magnum Research. All right, let's go get a sun. Oh yeah. All right, let's get this dog and pony show on the road, guys. Magnum Research Incorporated, made in the USA. Micro Desert Eagle. Now, looky there. I got some Hornady, I believe is what's in there, hollow points. And I'm going to shoot those out for you. This thing almost just fits in the palm of your hand. It's probably one of the smallest little pocket pistols you can find right now. The total length of this guy is 4.52 inches. And that's pretty doggone small right there. Okay, the barrel length is 2.22 inches. The uh, It's got a nickel Teflon finish on it got fixed sights and the weight is 14 ounces yeah it's a little bit heavy I'll give it that it's a little heavy but uh, as far as uh, you know functionality of it and cycling different type of ammo I haven't seen any problems whatsoever you got six rounds uh, in the magazine and uh, I'll show you that again and it is unloaded so you know what we really need to go shoot this thing. I'm going to post all the info under this video. So just check it out. When you click on more info, I'll post Magnum Research site if you are interested in this. And um, But I do like it. I think it's a great little pocket pistol. Uh, I will trust it over some other ones I've seen. Um, we can also compare it to uh, a couple more. All right, let me show you that. Okay, guys, this is a Kel-Tec 380, 
and you can see I'm gonna put them right I'm gonna put this guy right on top of it and you can see how much shorter it is it's a little wider it's a little heavier but I trust this guy over this one anytime I do carry the Caltech 380 I used to keep it in my car but uh, that's the difference in them okay let's move on to something else all right let's look at the uh, Diamondback DB9 of course that's not a good comparison but I'm gonna show it to you anyway because this is a 380 and this is a nine millimeter all right see the difference on that one okay again we're much shorter all right let's go to something else here let's go to uh, this is a nice nice pistol right here all right guys this is a Sig Sawyer P238 380 and this is a very nice very nice um, little pocket pistol I love the sights on this one and it does have a safety on it I do like that option as well again this one's a little costly but uh, I think the functionality and reliability of this one is, is really superior now, how you like those sights okay let's look at this one the SIG beside the uh, micro desert eagle again you can see we have a barrel length difference and uh, it's a little bit bigger all the way around um, I think the uh, width is maybe a little bit bigger on the micro desert eagle especially right in here okay let's uh, look at another one here let's look at the uh, car all right here's the car P380 this is again a nice pistol I like this one um, this guy let's see how they can pair there I'm gonna put the Desert Eagle right beside the car again you got a shorter barrel and I do believe well it's very close on that one but again you have uh, a little bit more width right in here but there's a two there's your comparison best I'm gonna do anyway I think it's time to go shoot this thing I'm getting ready to lose my light but anyway we're gonna first shoot uh, I'm gonna shoot some uh, some of these hollow points out of there and uh, show you that it'll go through good and then uh, I don't know if I can hit anything with this bad little boy another thing guys you look at these little uh, these little holsters these are cool um, you know you want to you want to make sure you have a pocket holster that covers the trigger um, which that one that one does I like that one a whole lot that's pretty cool and uh, also I'm gonna today I'm gonna probably use my uh, um, earplugs that I had uh, molded I don't know if you guys have seen these or not I'm sure you have at the gun stores but you can go into a gun store and they'll mold them to, to fit your ears and it, it's great I do like these let me lay that pistol down there and show them to you here they're not too bad I don't know exactly what I, I did pay for these but uh, that's your right ear and your left ear I'm gonna put those on today and I got my eye protection that I'll use and uh, so anyway let's get this baby cocked locked and ready to rock okay we're ready to go let's go fire this thing before I lose my light hoorah hoorah okay guys I do have my eyes on I do have my ears on so you guys can't chastise me about that okay we're ready to go let's see if we can even hit anything with this thing this thing has got a long trigger pull there's no safety on it so that's probably what you need oh we rung a little still there let's try it again rung a little still there let's try for evil roy there yeah evil roy that's what i'm talking about I'm going to try for old Evil Roy one more time here. Ready? That's right. Now, I don't know if you can see where it's hitting, guys, but uh, I'll try to turn the camera around and let you see this thing. All right, that's where I hit. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, let's go back and do it again. Again, we have a long trigger pull on this guy. It makes it just a little bit more difficult. But, hey, that's what it is. It's a pocket pistol. 
and it's used for personal protection. That's all it is. If you just reach up there and pull the trigger, let her rip. Okay, guys, you've seen it wood cycle the uh, Hornady um, hollow point, the gold dot. Now, this time I've got uh, full metal jacket ammo in it, and uh, I would say to you, if you're going to go out and get you one and carry it for personal defense, take it out to the range to make sure it'll cycle the type of ammo you have in it. Uh, the Hornady I like. Uh, have less problems with it than any, uh, but it was very smooth. I don't know if it'll do ball. I have I don't have any to try, but again, that's really critical that you make sure that your gun um, on any of these small pocket pistols are going to cycle through whatever you put in them. But you don't want to pull this out on somebody and uh, and uh, it not feed properly or something like that. Loaded up with full metal jacket this time. Let's let her rip again. Here we go. I wonder if I can hit one of these little poppers right here. Probably won't knock it down. Did I hit it? No, it won't knock it down. Let's try another one. Oh, I hit it. Not knocking them down, though. Oh, yeah. Evil Roy, you're going to die. Yes, sir, buddy, right? I hope you guys can see it. I'm going to try this evil roar right here on the left. Here we go. Oh, we got him. Oh, pretty good. Not bad. Pretty good group. Oh, yeah. There we out again. If you're wondering where that group was, I'll show it to you. There's the group. All right, so we had uh, six shots. We got three right there in the heart. We got one in the head, one in the shoulder, and one in the neck. That's not bad. Let's go load it up again and try something else. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I am using PMC Full Metal Jacket ammo right now. Uh, just want to let you know that and we know the Hornady and the PMC does fine in it had had any problems with anything else I'll say when you load your magazine you put it up in here you just pull it back easy you don't have to jerk it back or anything like that the only time I had a problem with it feeding is when I when I overreacted it just jerked it back real hard and turned it loose if I just treat it real gentle it done fine so I only had that happen once Okay, guys, I'm going to uh, try for these three targets in front of you, the, the Eva Roy, the uh, Circle, and the Torso, okay? Here we go, guys. Let's rock and roll here. All right, Eva Roy first. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. clear I'm out again I love this thing I'm getting some good little groups on there really for a, for a pocket pistol what you talking about not bad the 380 will not knock over the uh, poppers or the uh, hostage target but you know again I'm gonna go for this other evil Roy and uh, the torso and the circle okay let's see what we got here got a good little group on this evil Roy right here so uh, Let's see what the little micro desert eagle does. Get you some. Torso. You put one in the heart. All right. That's right. Oh yeah. Yep. Not used to firing something that runs out of ammo that quick, but hey, this is sweet, guys. Not having any problem. I really like this one. And I know, uh, I have a buddy, his name's Oil the Gun. He'll really like this one, too. He's been eyeballing this one for a long time. Hey, Oil the Gun. Eat your heart out, bad boy. Oh, yeah. Sweet pumpkin pie. Now, I know you want that. That's what I'm talking about. 
All right, I'm trying for the torso right in front of us. I hope you can see this. Here we go. You see my group wasn't too good on that one, but hey, that's okay. We got the job done. That's all that matters. I did have some good groups on this guy. I was impressed. Compared to my hand, look at the size of this little guy. That's what I'm talking about. I like this. I really do. Be right back. Okay, guys, I did find some, uh, some more uh, hollow point uh, 380. And... There it is right there. I'm going to see how this runs to it. So we know the full metal jacket does good. We know the Hornady does good. So let's try this and see what happens, okay? Here we go. Let's rock and roll. Okay. This time, Eva Roy, you're going to get it. Not too bad. That's my group on uh, Eva Roy with a round of uh, hollow points. And it's uh, cycling them real well. No problems. Okay, that's not a bad group. Not bad at all. So am I impressed? You betcha. I'm glad I got this one. Are you ready? Run out of light, guys. That's right. Back up a little bit, let you get one more. I am shooting those hollow points in it right now. Oh yeah. Man, this thing's got a long trigger pull. Oh, ho. tell me a three, I wouldn't want to be in front of that 380. Yes, sir, baby. I already shot about two boxes of ammo over this thing trying to do a review on it, but that's okay. At least we got some hollow points, full metal jackets out of it, and we know this guy is reliable, and I wouldn't be afraid to carry it in my pocket to protect myself. Last two, guys. Here we are. Here we go. Let's let her rip. That's right. Oh, sweet. All right. Safety check this bad boy, it's unloaded. All right guys, I went back and got Jack. Brought him out here with me. Got our fire going real good here tonight, at the compound. And uh, I took the guns inside and um, we'll go over there and close this out for you. Jack, there's my baby boy. Oh Jack, he really loves it in the tent here. Okay, there they are. Okay, you got the Magnum Research, you got the SIG, you got the car, Kiltec, diving back, and you can see the difference in size, guys. I do like this. I would recommend it 100%. Guys, if you look under my channel page under Shooting Buddies, uh, I appreciate it very much. There's two guys on there that need a little shout out there, and uh, I think they got some great channels. Uh, one has been there a long time. Uh, it's the Brothers of Black Rifles. His name is Ethron, E T H R O N, number one. Check him out. He's got 160 some videos, and this guy's got 734 subs, and uh, I'm telling you one thing, he should have. 7,000 some subs. He's got some good stuff. He's very knowledgeable. I wish I had his knowledge about it. Also, uh, Keys to the Armory channel. He's got uh, 440 subs. He hasn't been on here that long. He's got about 45 videos. He's a local boy that works at Shooters Express here in Belmont, North Carolina. Uh, very knowledgeable young man. I really like this guy. 
Also, my other buddies on there, you know them. We do videos together and stuff. So uh, please check these guys out, and I appreciate you watching. And that's all I got to say. Hoorah! Get you some. Thanks, guys. Love y'all. Hasta la vista, baby.